Hey Mimo Gardeners, as many of you know, I love growing tomatoes in my vegetable garden. I usually like to get them planted in March or early April. I've been so busy this year, I thought I might have to give the tomatoes a break and not plant any. But this past Sunday, May 1st, I decided to just set aside the day to tend to the garden. This isn't really a how-to video, but I thought it would be fun to shoot some time-lapse video and you can see the transformation of a plot of overgrown weeds into a space for tomatoes. If you'd like to see my full procedure for planting and growing tomatoes, check out my tomato growing playlist from last year. I think I've got three videos on there. The space for my vegetable garden is just big enough to grow stuff, but it's small enough that I can manage it myself without it taking over my entire life. We don't tend to grow anything in the winter months, so the weeds just take over. This past winter was an exceptionally rainy one, and the weeds were super dense. Earlier in the morning, I cleared out the weeds in my side yard next to my shop that were waist high. I'm pretty sure in any battle of man versus nature, nature will always win in the end. I try to pull up the entire plants, including their roots. I think this helps keep them at bay for most of the summer rather than if I just mowed them or tilled them into the soil. I filled up two of these yard waste bins on Sunday. I can never get all the weeds, but once I have most of them raked up, I can begin tilling the soil. Basically, I just use a spade and work backward in rows, turning over shovelfuls of dirt, chopping up any clumps, and removing any large stones that seem to also grow every winter. And then I smooth it all out with the rake and sort of level the ground. I like to amend the soil with chicken manure. I hope to start composting soon. I really need to build a compost bin. So I just spread out the manure with a rake and then till it in with a spade. I think it's good to spread it over the entire garden, not just the area where the plants will be. Here I'm arranging my tomato cages so where I'll be able to walk in between them and access all sides of the plants when they get big and I wanna harvest tomatoes. And once I like where they're all set up, I set the potted plants in the middle of each cage. This year I planted three tomato plants and one tomatillo plant. Plus we've got four more tomato plants already planted in the raised beds next to the deck. 